Thank you for staying with us on The Explainer. A reminder that we still have with us on the program tonight, retired Chief Justice David Maraga will speak about his intention to vie for president in the year 2027, as well as his thoughts on the state of law and governance in the country and indeed his plans should he be elected and be president. What are his thoughts on the economy amongst a number of other issues, his plans for the country. All of that in just a moment here on The Explainer. But first, let's tell you about a major milestone in the fight against HIV. Kenya is among the first nine African countries set to introduce to introduce Lena Kapavir, a long-acting injectable HIV prevention drug. The World Health Organization has approved the twice a year jab as a highly effective tool in curbing new infections. Health Cabinet Secretary Aden Duale says the rollout will begin early next year calling it a significant step towards ending HIV in the country. As Emily Chabet reports, a single dose, however, will cost up to 30 million shillings. But the Ministry of Health will prioritize key populations who are most at risk to receive the injection free of charge. The fight against HIV in Kenya has received a major boost following the approval of lenacapavir, the first long-acting injectable HIV prevention drug to be administered just twice a year. The World Health Organization has hailed the innovation as highly effective and convenient alternative to daily pills. Kenya is among nine countries in Africa selected for the initial rollout with support from the Global Fund. The Ministry of Health says the country is proud to be part of the pioneer group. This is the next best thing to an HIV vaccine. Kenya is one of the first uh, adoptees of this innovation. And we expect to roll out in the first quarter of 2026. We are working with the support of ourselves and Global Fund. And the reason as to why we are going to do this in January is because we have to change our existing guidelines. We have to train healthcare workers. We have to put the logistics in place of how to get the medicines, how we are going to store it. According to head of NASCOP, Dr. Andrew Mulwa, the announcement made at the International AIDS Society Conference in Kigali, Rwanda, offers a new option for Kenyans currently using pre-exposure prophylaxis pills. He says the first consignment of a two-month injectable drug known as Kabele is expected to arrive in the country within the next two weeks. We also have another one called the, 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 the Dapiravin ring, which is a vaginal ring that uh, women can use to prep and also is coming to the country now. So what now uh, with the introduction of Elena Kapovino happens is one, the people will have choices. We have had oral uh, pre-exposure prophylaxis which is given daily. However, the challenge of daily prep is that uh, you may forget one or two days and therefore then the protection that you desire to get is not assured. The other eight countries rolling out Lena Kapavir are Eswatini, Lesotho, Mozambique, Nigeria, South Africa, Uganda, Zambia and Zimbabwe. According to Dr. Mulwa, every HIV negative Kenyan qualifies for the life-saving injection, but a single dose costing over 30 million Kenya shillings, access will be strategic. He says the government will first target those at most risk of infection who will receive the injection free of charge under public health initiative. We are working to develop mechanisms having this product in the shelves of chemists, of clinics, so that the private sector can also play a role. For those who are not vulnerable and who can afford they should be able to get uh, access to the product. Several Western countries, including the United States, participated in the clinical trials that covered various age groups and genders. Finally, we are seeing a breakthrough that can easily contribute to end of HIV. This jab will protect you against HIV, but will not protect you against syphilis, will not pro uh, uh, protect you about hepatitis, against hepatitis or uh, or pregnancies or other uh, sexually transmitted illnesses. The announcement marks a beacon of hope in what has been a long and challenging journey for the country. Emily Chebet, Citizen TV. 